Welcome back to my Design, Creativity and Technology channel. I thought I'd finalise this uh, series of CNC conversion videos I've been doing on the uh, Titan TM25, the Clone Grizzly you know, milling machine today. Um, I started making these kits and uh, had sold quite a few of them, but I've decided not to pursue this venture anymore. And instead I've decided to put it out to uh, out there on the internet for free and uh, and to share my files. So I thought I'd finalise this video and uh, show you how I did it and uh, what, what the parts looked like. So to upload all these design files into Fusion 360, I imported them through Autodesk A360 website. I brought in the raw SolidWorks files that I originally drew them in. As you know, I was a uh, I used to use SolidWorks and I've no longer used it. I've um, dropped it for Fusion 360 and haven't looked back. But anyway, I've brought all these files in and uh, imported them, and these are these pale grey files. Now, once imported, I'll open uh, Fusion, I'll show you. Once imported, you can find them in here, in your, up in the, up in the data panel. Now, to convert the SolidWorks files into Fusion files, just simply right click on it and go create a Fusion design. Um, it uses all that parametric data and creates a perfect one in Fusion. You can see the assemblies here. I've got the uh, first bit I'll show you, the Y-axis assembly. Uh, this is quite straightforward when you're assembling it to your milling machine. You've just got to trim down the end of the ball screw and drill a third hole underneath. Uh, the X-axis, once again, you've got to trim down the end of the ball screw and remachine the 10 mil uh, flange end on that side there. Now, the other thing for the Z guys is that you, um, sorry, for the X, you have where the ball, ball nut uh, screw lies on this shaft here, you've got to machine a little slot in your saddle to fit it in, and I'll show you that in the video. And last but not least is the Z axis design, and that actually, uh, I designed it in a way so it goes down inside the column and it hides it in there. But look, if you'd like to, um, I'm happy to share these files if you like um, to subscribers. So if you're a subscriber to my channel, uh, send me a personal email. Uh, to find my email address, just go to the About section on my channel and you can email it, email me direct from there. And uh, I'll share this file with you. And uh, I've already started to share with some people through the AC, A360, and you can see them here as well. Speak, uh, special thanks to Gavin Bath for, um, he's helped a lot with this as well. He's from CAD Pro. Alrighty, let's go to the video. Okay, Peter, when you're ready. So here's the Y axis bracket here. Yep. And that's been bolted onto the base of the little milling machine. You can see up the back here where the ball screw was cut down to fit into the slot. And today we've got my old mate Peter help me. And he's giving me a hand. Yeah. There you go. Old so <laughs> So what have you just done now, Peter? You've you've milled the yes. The saddle. We've milled the saddle to take the uh, ball nut. Okay. Give it clearance. All right, and we're going to bolt that saddle on now, eh? We can do that. All right. Coming over your shoulder. Stay there, you're all right. It's a bit slow, but it's going all right because I stopped uh, whipping. Alrighty, so we've uh, bolted on the x-axis here, and it's uh, got on quite, quite well. 
go around to the other side and show you. You can see where Peter machined down the end of the shaft. And we had to cut that ball screw down. Now the good thing with these mills, I don't know if we can see this here, but there's a lot more room under the table than the Grizzly or the uh, Optimum model and uh, it's not a problem. That should slide up and down there nice, straight off the design. Okay, today Peter just finished the Z-axis off. You can see he's mounted the side plate, the stepper motor plate. He's got the ball screw in all mounted up, all the head back on. X-axis is done, Y-axis. So the little mill's now ready to have the stepper motors fitted and all the electronic controllers. And Laurie's mill, he'll be up milling no doubt pretty soon. As I always say, spinning bits and ripping chips.